What is up guys, Scrammy here, coming at you with some more testing of the Sonom XP8. Now last week we did some benchmark testing on the Sonom, just to see where it stood compared to other phones and uh, how the performance and graphics were on the phone. And so this week I decided for basically the first time ever to download some games, which I never really play or use on a phone ever, but a lot of people do. So I decided I'd give you more of a real-world test here to show you how some of these games run. So the first game I downloaded was Subway Surfer. I uh, Seems like an interesting game here. Pretty simple, but I'm going to try it out, and you're probably just going to watch me fail. But for the sake of science and testing, well, I am going to play it. Now, I've had a few people ask me, how many Sonom phones have I had or things of that nature. So I'm here to tell you I've had a bunch of Sonoms. I've had a XP 2.10 Spirit, I believe it was, an XP 3.20 Quest Pro, an XP 3300 Force. I've also had an XP 6, the XP 7, and now the XP 8. And it seems like I am running from Santa Claus. Interesting. Well, so far so good. The game seems to be running pretty well. I haven't died yet, so that's a plus. I can see how these games could be addicting, I guess. Uh, but the Sonom seems to be doing pretty well here. It's doing better than I am at figuring out what the heck I'm supposed to do. But yeah, so far, so good. It actually feels pretty good in the hand. You know, you got a good grip on the phone. So, yeah, I don't mind this game. It seems to be uh, running smooth. Don't really have any issues here. So, Subway Surfer, if you're going to play this style of game, I think there is a Temple Run 2 as well. Oh, but I crashed. So... These style games, you would be just fine. So, okay, let's try something different. Subway Surfer was good. Let's, uh, let me find another one here. I downloaded, let's see, Trial Extreme. Let's let this puppy boot up. So this one is held sideways. I kind of like the uh, notch here because it actually sits in your hand pretty well so this game has a little bit more to it a uh, little bit more things going on but basically just like a trials game also fairly simple but i'm gonna try and get through this guys here we go let's play let's go here let's go here and let's i guess race this person oh boy don't make fun of me, guys. I'm probably going to suck at this, but I'm going. Come on, baby. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, well, I'm in a house. How in the hell? All right, well, uh, yep, not doing so great. Well, hey, at least it's running pretty smooth. It's not really uh, skipping. There's no lag going on here. Phone seems to be doing just fine. Uh, my guy isn't doing that great because I really suck at this, but, yeah, it seems to run pretty smooth. I can't see having any issues with this type of game either. Oh, maybe I can catch this guy. Come on, come on, let's do it, come on, you can do it. Let's go, little dude, go faster. Oh, dear, oh, no, no, oh, no, no. Well, I just died. Damn. Well, maybe we'll try this one more time. Just to see. Can I catch this guy? Come on. Come on. Come on. I did this last time. I don't want to go that high. All right. So far, pretty good. Come on. Come on. Come on, little dirt bike. Or trials bike. I guess it's, it is a dirt bike, but slightly different. Come on. Come on. So, yeah, this game... Seems to be running pretty smooth. Don't really have any issue. Just, just let this go. 
Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh, make that, make that. Yeah. Come on, baby. You can do it. Oh. Oh no. No. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, wiener dog seems to think I'm in trouble here. She's barking away. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can do this. Yeah. I'm gonna win. Oh, look at that, guys. I won. All right, so that type of game works perfectly well. Let me uh, see if I can get the wiener dog corralled over here. And, uh, yeah, we'll come back and try one last game and see how it's going to run. Yeah, what are you doing? Being a wiener? Yeah, are you being a wiener? You're always a wiener. Good girl. Yeah, good pup. All right, guys, so the last game I downloaded is called Off the Road. It's kind of a four-wheel drive racing style game, but it's also open world. There's a lot of things going on, so I figure for graphics processing wise, this would be a good game to test. Again, holding it sideways. I do kind of like having the notch there. I turned on this game, started playing it a little, it's an interesting game. There's a good bit of stuff going on. Uh, I'm not so great at driving around and doing much. But yeah, so we have a totally open world here cruising around. I got this blazer looking thing. And yeah, so let's give her a little, little run around. I just crashed into what looks like a helicopter. But yeah, so there's a lot going on here. 3D graphics, everything seems to be running pretty smooth, even at faster speeds here with all this going on and me flipping around. Oh, look at that, I saved myself. So, basically the premise of this game is to just go around and collect coins, do races, do uh, all sorts of tasks and accomplishments here to get better and better at things. But with this game, you can also put it in park, I can actually get out of this truck so I can actually run around this world here and you can hear birds chirping and such. I mean, it comes out pretty well. I mean, walking around here, moving this all around. I mean, the phone doesn't really seem to have any issue with it. I mean, you got the clouds, you got everything going on. I don't want to run away from my truck too far. But yeah, I mean, let's see here. Walk up to this truck a little bit. You can see it's already damaged because I crashed into it a good bit. But yeah, not too bad. Give it a little bit more uh, cruising around. I'm not, you know, I'm not against these types of games. I'm not against any game. I just, I don't really sit around long enough to, uh, I don't have the attention span to sit there and get really addicted and interested in games. But yeah, a game like this, which I think is a little more taxing than just your Subway Surfer or that other game that I was playing. A lot more going on here. I think you'd be just fine. So, in real world, is this phone really uh, super high tech? No, there's nothing that stands out much above beyond the uh, fact that it's super rugged, but... It's also not junk either. It runs smooth. I don't have any issues. Uh, I know a lot of people, you know, they knock it for the camera and stuff like that. And I spoke about that before. Yeah, it doesn't have the greatest camera. It doesn't have the super greatest specs of all. But this is definitely a good phone. I mean, you can play any game you want. It's going to run everything just fine. You can run multiple things. I just... You know, you're not going to get super flagship quality stuff. But, yeah, I would say any normal games or anything you're going to do on your phone, yeah, you'd be just fine. So, yeah, this game runs pretty smooth. Besides me sucking at driving in my poor little truck. Come on, come on. Oh, don't look, I'm going to get anywhere there. All right, guys, before we end this video, I just wanted to say that I do notice that my speakers at the bottom of the phone don't seem to be as loud anymore. I do see that they're pretty packed full of crap, but I just wanted to bring that to uh, your guys' attention that through all the tests, smashing and bashing, now it seems like 
maybe the speakers have gotten affected by, you know, maybe some of the dozens of chemicals and crap I've put through them. But I'll just give you a little listen here with some royalty-free music because you know how it is. So it's playing. Now, one thing that you should know is the sonom is super duper loud, okay? I don't know if you can tell by video, but I mean, it's cranked right now and you can't really, it's not very loud. So I'm not sure if what I have done to it has just finally gotten through to the speakers or if it's just because they're cluttered with junk. So I may have to put this puppy through another dishwasher test, clean it out, and see if I can get the volume back. If not, I have to say that could be the first sort of casualty of the phone would be that the speakers just aren't holding up. I may have actually done some damage. So stay tuned. I'm going to have more testing, more smashing, more bashing, and we will continue to keep doing this. I won't stop as long as you guys keep watching. If you like it, just go ahead and like, subscribe. I will constantly be posting videos. So yeah, the Sonom lives on.